today I thought I'd do a video on four reasons why you shouldn't install glass windows in your van. Hello, I'm Sam and welcome to my channel. So I thought I'd do a video on these things today um, and on something that I think a lot of people miss a trick on. One of the decisions that you have to make early on in your van build is what windows you're going to put in, where, where you're going to put them and how many you're going to have. And it seems to me that a lot of people um, who are doing self-build conversions go with glass windows. And I think that is a massive mistake. It's certainly a big regret of mine and something that when I do... Um, other projects in the future I will change and go for the acrylic uh, windows so that's what today's video is all about I just thought I'd run through exactly why I've got that opinion um, and why I think that you really shouldn't bother with these glass windows let's take a look and so reason number one why I think you shouldn't go for glass windows in your van is because of the insulative properties. Um, I've just started another mini series of videos on how to winterize your van. Um, check out those, those videos if you haven't seen that series. But essentially, glass is about five times less thermally efficient than acrylic uh, windows. So typically, van windows are single glazed glass this compares to the Dometic Sites range, which are a double skin of acrylic. Um, I'll show you actually on my roof light. It's the same same technology. So yeah, I don't know if it's if you're able to see on video or not, but they've basically got an inner and an outer skin. You can kind of see here that that little mark there is on the inner skin, and then the one above it is on the top skin. Um, and then obviously it is that acrylic material plastic rather than the glass um, so you've got two factors there contributing to the thermal efficiency not only the material but then you've got that air gap um, just like the windows in your house and these are actually rated to the same um, standards as those in your house whereas that's just a vehicle single pane of glass which is not rated to anything domestic and it's not just cold weather, weather glass is problematic. In hot weather, then your van is basically becoming uh, a greenhouse. So it's not just cold climbs that you need to think about whether or not glass is the best option. It's also the other end of the scale in the hotter climates and summer months. So reason number two of why I think you shouldn't use glass windows is because of the blind situation. If you install a glass window, then you need to come up with some curtains, a blind, and that's just to keep the light out. What about insects and bugs and things like that? Well, these glass windows don't come with any of that, so I've had to put a, a wooden frame around the window, buy some um, custom length blinds. Um, it's just the right pain in the ass, to be honest. The Dometic ones come not only with a, a thermal blind, but also a fly screen mosquito net. Um, again, I'll show you on the roof light. So the roof light's got two blinds. You pull one way, and it's a blackout blind, um, which is actually that thermal insulation on the back there. So it's like a third layer of thermal insulation. And on the other side is a mosquito net. And so that's all included in the blind, really easy to install. This face plate just clips on to the main frame. Don't have to do, don't have to worry about messing around with, you know, I went for some roller blinds, about 50 quid extra, I think, for the set, cut to the right length, um, which is fine. It's a nice blackout blind, but there's no mosquito net, nothing like that. So reason number three is water ingress and ventilation. 
glass windows, typically a sliding windows like this one. So if it's raining, obviously you're going to have a problem with water getting in. There are some hinged glass ones, the CL Lawrence, CR Lawrence, CL Lawrence, whatever it is, uh, do hinge at the bottom. They look pretty cool, um, but they're expensive. Also, obviously, aren't insulated as well as the acrylic ones. And the acrylic ones typically have the hinge at the top. So, obviously, if it's raining, water ingress is not going to be a problem. Also, I think you'd get better uh, ventilation if you wanted to leave that open on a hot night or something. Um, if it's hinged outwards, you're going to get airflow from both sides. Whereas here, it's just not going to, I don't think it's going to work as well. Reason number four is security. Um, it is so easy uh, for someone to put a glass window through if they want to get in your van, nick whatever va whatever valuables you've got in there. Um, it would be so much harder to break through an acry acrylic window. If you think about PVC doors, um, if you've ever watched any of those cop shows. Um, Wood, old school wooden and glass doors they just beat right through um, whereas they try and hit those new PVC or newer PVC doors um, to get through and the the ram that they use to get through the door just bounces back off I think it would be a bit like that if you try to get through an acrylic an acrylic window so um, yeah the the plastic windows win in terms of security for me as well Yeah, so they're the four reasons why I think that these are not the best option for your van. Um, so you've got the insulation, the water ingress slash ventilation, security, and then the fact that you've got to find some curtains, blinds, insulative blinds, put a window frame around it, all that sort of stuff. Um, just the added work. So as with anything, there's two sides to any story. Um, what downsides can I think of for the acrylic, dometic type windows? Well, you could say they don't look as nice from the outside. Um, you might lose your stealth fan element because they look a bit more caravan-y rather than um, more car-like like the glass ones do. Yeah, I, I can see that point. And the other thing is cost. They are a bit more expensive. Um, they are a bit more expensive, but to be honest, by the time you've sorted out some curtains or blinds, you've you know spent extra time doing the insulative blinds, um, I think the cost difference would be pretty negligible. So that's it. That's the four reasons uh, why you shouldn't buy glass windows for your van. Um, thanks for watching. If you have found this video interesting, useful, entertaining, if you're a real van geek, um, give it a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching.